Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, I will talk about the brief evolution history of the World Wide Web. The web is a system of interconnected pages and resources that can be accessed through the internet. The web has undergone different development stages, often called Web 1.0, Web 2.0, and Web 3.0. Each stage represents a significant change in how users interact with the web and the technologies used. Web 1.0 is the first generation of the World Wide Web. It was a static and read-only web where users could only consume information without user interaction. It was a collection of static HTML pages with text, images, and links. There were no social networking or online collaboration tools. Typical examples of Web 1.0 sites include websites like Yahoo, AOL, eBay, Netscape, GeoCities, to name a few. Yahoo was one of the first search engines and web portals of the Web 1.0 era. It offered a directory of websites, news, email, and other services. AOL, America Online was one of the earliest and most popular internet service providers of the Web 1.0 era. It provided dial-up internet access and various other services like email and instant messaging. When you use dial-up to the internet, you will hear this. Web 2.0 is the second generation of the World Wide Web. It is a read and write web. Web 2.0 enables interactive, collaborative, and user-generated content. Web 2.0 websites include social media, blogs, wikis, and other collaborative tools that enable users to participate in the creation and sharing of content. If Web 1.0 is top-down, where information is created and distributed by a few websites, Web 2.0 is bottom-up, where users can participate in making and disseminating information and influence contents, popularity, and relevance. There are three main features of Web 2.0. The first feature is user-generated content. Web 2.0 allows users to actively participate and contribute to the web by creating and sharing content. Here are some interesting facts. Alibaba, the world's highest volume merchant, owns no inventory. Airbnb, the world's largest accommodation provider, owns no property. Uber, the world's largest taxi company, owns no cars. Facebook, the world's largest media company, creates no content. Netflix, the world's most prominent movie house, owns no cinemas. Apple and Google, the two most popular mobile software vendors, don't write most apps. The second feature is personalization. Web 2.0 platforms strive to provide personalized experiences based on user preferences and behaviors. Artificial intelligence is essential in recommendation systems, targeted advertising, and tailored content delivery aiming to offer relevant and customized experiences to individual users. The third feature is mobile compatibility. With the rise of smartphones and mobile devices, Web 2.0 emphasizes mobile compatibility and responsive design. 
websites and applications are optimized for various screen sizes and touch-based interactions. Web 3.0 is the third generation of the World Wide Web. Web 3.0 is characterized by artificial intelligence, blockchain, and the Internet of Things. Artificial Intelligence Web 3.0 will use artificial intelligence techniques such as machine learning, deep learning, natural language processing, large language models, and to analyze and interpret the meaning and context of online content. Web 3.0 is more intelligent and personalized, delivering tailored information and services to users' needs. Blockchain technology is a decentralized and distributed ledger system that records transactions across a network of computers. Each transaction is grouped into a block, linked chronologically to form a chain. Blockchain technology will bring Web 3.0 at least two benefits. One, decentralization. Data is not stored on a single central server but on multiple computers, nodes, across the network. This makes it resistant to central authority or control. 2. Security. Blockchain is used to secure data, making it extremely difficult for unauthorized parties to alter or tamper with transaction information. The Internet of Things, IoT. The Internet of Things refers to three things. One, the Internet is connected to the physical world via ubiquitous sensors. Two, Web 3.0 technologies will use edge computing, cloud computing, and 5G networks to provide seamless and fast access to online services and applications across different devices and locations. Third, the Internet will enable more immersive and interactive experiences using 3D graphics, virtual reality, holograms, and augmented reality. Remember that Web 3.0 isn't entirely in place. However, we are already seeing elements of Web 3.0 working their way into our Internet experiences. Web 3.0 will bring significant changes, and it's exciting to see what the future will hold. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time. <music>